The NG panel from DAB is the next generation control panel for managing drainage and filling pumps. In this video, we are going to see the configuration guidelines for when we use NG panel for drainage. Drainage means moving water from a tank or from a pit into a sewer line. We can also call this function emptying. In this configuration, we want the pumps to start when the pit is getting full and we want the pumps to stop when the pit is almost empty. First of all, we need to select the option for drainage on the display. Since this is a big choice that changes the logic of the system, we need to configure some important parameters. From the main screen, I push the down button five times until I find the screen pump configuration and press enter. I press enter again to access the initial configuration. I choose modify configuration with down and enter. Click to confirm on this message and then hold down to begin. I choose the option drainage. I confirm that I have the correct pump amperage set. Here I choose the type of level control that I'm using. I'm going to select the depth sensor. Here I have a choice. Does the pit have the safety level switches for too full or too empty? I select the related case. If my intention is to rely on the depth sensor only, I will choose no float in this screen. Next, I choose the sensor type based on its depth range. We recommend only using a depth sensor provided by DAB. Now I choose the operational levels of the installation. The first input is the tank height. Here we have to choose the high and low protection levels that are detected by my depth sensor. The high level protection alarm helps to avoid the tank from overflowing, while the low level protection alarm helps to avoid the pumps dry running. If protection level switches are not present, we recommend to select both levels. Because we selected both levels, here we set the minimum level alarm. The pump's stopping level that would be slightly higher than the minimum level alarm. The level at which pump one will start, typically when the tank or the pit is half full. The level at which pump two will start, that is about three quarter full. And the last level we choose is the maximum level for the threshold alarm that I will set at about 90% of the full capacity of the pit. We select how often the pumps exchange priority and finally we can choose to enable the flow rate estimation or not. And the configuration is completed. The advantages of the depth sensor is that I can choose the operating levels from the NG panel without having to adjust the height of the float switches inside the tank. I only need to install one sensor that can do the job of five switches. If you want to know more about the NG panel and all the configuration options that are available for this smart product, check out our other videos or find the links in the description. We recommend only using a depth sensor provided by DAP. You don't like it? Yeah. Blah, blah, blah.